Hello, the hemlock woolly adelgia disease has had a ravaging impact on the hemlock forests of North America. In this video, I want to teach you about using biological control to protect the hemlocks in your city, your forest, your state, or maybe even in your own backyard. One of the most effective methods of control is using the ST beetle. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, in 2005, the best option for managing hemlock woolly adelgia in forests is biological control. So today I want to tell you more about the, how effective this method really is. Because in the end, the more you know about biological control of the hemlock woolly adelgia, also known as HWA, using the ST beetle, the better chances we all have of saving our majestic hemlock forests. This involves answering questions and addressing some of, the, some of the most common concerns about the ST beetle. So let me just walk through some of the facts. Fact number one. Here's the question. Is there any chance that the beetles, being non-native, could cause other environmental problems? Well, that's a very good question. The answer to that is no. The ST beetles have been tried and tested in the eastern U.S. for well over a decade now. And we've worked closely with the U.S. Forestry Service since 2001 and have documentation that this beetle poses no threat to anything other living organisms than the HWA. They have two purposes, to eat the HWA and reproduce. That's all. Research has never discovered any negative environmental impacts of the result of the ST beetles. Now fact number two, and question, what's the beetles, once the beetles eat all of the HWA, won't they just die? Well, the answer to that is no. The life cycle of the ST beetle is synchronized with HWA. The more HWA, the more ST beetle larvae will be produced. The less HWA, the less larvae will be produced. The population of the beetle is determined by the population of HWA. So when beetles do migrate to another WHA infested tree, they leave behind a successor generation. The tree is not abandoned. Fact number three, how fast will my hemlocks recover? That's a big question that everybody wants to know. ST beetles are highly efficient predators. Both adult and larvae ST beetle feed on all life stages of HWA. Each ST adult and larvae can consume up to 500 HWA eggs per week and 100 HWA nymphs. The ST beetle has a ferocious appetite for HWA and ST larvae even more so. ST beetles consume 86 to 99 percent of HWA found in the wild. Hemlocks can recover in as little as one to two years. Best of all, they stay recovered. So as the tree gets stronger, it regains its natural defense mechanisms to fight off all other pests and other threats. So as the ST beetle controls HWA, the hemlock becomes more capable of taking care of itself for the future. Fact number four. How can I get ST beetles on my hemlocks? Well up until now ST beetles have only been raised in research laboratories for distribution to the US Forestry Service. Though government-sponsored laboratories have done their best to meet the demand, there simply has just not been enough ST beetles to meet the infestation of the hemlock woolly adelgid. Well, I want to tell you some exciting news that that has all changed. Tree Savers has developed the first ever private high-volume biological control laboratory that's designed for the exclusive production, distribution, and release of the ST beetle in both private and public hemlock forests. In fact, Tree Savers is the only American company currently providing the ST beetle to private landowners and the public. Now, to learn more about this amazing little HWA eating ladybug and how you can get the ST beetle on your own hemlocks, we would encourage you to connect with us here at Tree Savers. We'll help you diagnose your problem, evaluate your hemlocks, and help you determine how many ST beetles you'll need to provide the beetles and guide you through the process of releasing them. 
you can also download our free guide to saving your hemlocks. There's absolutely no reason why your hemlocks have to die from the invasive HWA infestation. In fact, by helping you save your hemlocks, we'll both be doing our part to save the entire hemlock forest. So, if you would like to receive our free guide on how to recognize HWA and how you can help save the hemlocks, just visit our solutions page at www.tree-savers.com. That's www.tree, and then you got to put in a hyphen, and then the word savers.com. With this, together, we can all make an impact. You can also give us a call at 570-871-0088. Again, that's 570-871-0088. Thank you for doing your part.